Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And so today I'm going to be talking about this uh, potential ship of Monkey D. Luffy and Nami, um, which is a popular ship uh, among the One Piece fandom. Um, it is the biggest ship for One Piece outside of Boa Hancock with, uh, Luffy. And there has been, I guess, a discussion for a while amongst the fandoms. Is Luffy into Nami? Is Nami into Luffy? Can the crew be couples, like, you know, or is uh, Luffy even attracted to any females um, or anybody for that matter? Because there is a lot of misconceptions with um, the One Piece characters. Um, so a lot of uh, people... Uh, I'm not saying everybody. I mean, obviously, there are people that, that ship Luffy with Boa Hancock. There are people that ship uh, Luffy with Nami. Obviously, I prefer Nami and Luffy as a couple. Um, but as most recently, uh, I had heard about this whole idea that uh, the creator of One Piece you know, had said that, uh, in, in an article, I guess, I don't know, uh, if people can bring it up, um, because I can't find it. Um, but people have brought up this whole thing about Luffy not being attracted to male or females, uh, like in terms of like a romantic thing or whatever. Um, I heard about this and I was like, where are they getting this info from? Because every signs points to, um, you know, the main characters usually always get with someone at the end. I mean, I mean, they did with Naruto. They did with Dragon Ball Z, obviously. Um, well, technically at the end of Dragon Ball. Um, even uh, now with you know bleach obviously they're doing a thousand year blood war now but that was because it was canceled but the manga um you know actually had the ending for that they had the main character get with some uh someone um what else um ba basically most shonen animes uh usually end with a main character be getting with someone. I'm not saying all of them do, but I'm saying that the majority, vast majority of these popular titles, even if they don't show, you know, the, if the male doesn't show that much attraction to the female character or the male character or whatever, uh, whatever, uh, you know, floats the boat so to speak uh on uh what uh, your interest is you know what i'm saying um at the end of the day this usually happens okay and this happens in cartoon stuff this happens in anime it usually happens now with one piece it's quite an interesting different dynamic uh when it comes to one piece and nami and luffy um, and it's because One Piece has gone on so effing long and there doesn't seem like there is a real end in sight of One Piece. And because of that, um, there is this big misconception that I think so many people believe that the crew aren't going to end up with a pairing in the end. Now, I know the creator in the past for One Piece has said that um, the show 
might end here. The show might end here. There's so many, sto- uh, so many uh, different, uh, you know, of how how the story has been completed. You know, sixty percent, fifty percent. You know, over the years, he's basically said different percentages in different interviews. Um, so because of that, there does seem to be an inconsistency on where the creator wants to end the series or what direction he wants to go in, in terms of what he wants to do at the end. Obviously we know, you know, the end will come with Luffy being king of the pirates. Cause I mean, that's kind of the story, right? Um, but I mean, to not get a, you know, an ending, so to speak, for um, the main characters, like, you know, having a romantic type ending, I do think sort of is a disservice. And I'm not just saying this for Luffy and Nami. I'm saying this for kind of really any of the characters. You know, I really hope, you know, Sanji does get back with Pudding. You know, I liked, uh, for anybody who hasn't seen the arc yet, uh, with Big Mo- the Big Mom arc, I really liked that no- uh, that uh, Pudding and Sanji legitimately had, like, you know, that type of romantic thing going on uh, where Pudding actually liked Sanji or loved Sanji, um, even though she wasn't originally supposed to love him. You know, it was all supposed to be an act. She ended up ending up actually falling in love with him for real. Um, And I thought that was a real cool thing because obviously Sanji totally gloats at every female that he sees, right? Any attractive female he sees, he gloats at them. But he doesn't really have an actual romantic thing for them. He just loves women, okay? Uh, so Sanji having someone who legitimately like actually loved him, I thought was kind of a cool thing for Sanji. Obviously pudding made him forget, but I'm hoping that that, um, I'm hoping that they, they get, you know, back there with that because I, I did really like that. I was probably, I'm going to say this right now, since I know this video is supposed to be about Nami and Luffy. But I do think that was probably one of the better ship stories that they've told throughout the entirety of One Piece. Because One Piece really doesn't try to focus on romance, which is a good thing, by the way. Um, But I did like that story that they told uh, at the end there um, with uh, putting in uh, Sanji. It kind of sucked that she made him forget, but I liked how they ended that. Uh, and hopefully they get back somehow. Um, but anyways, getting to Nami and Luffy here, um, the biggest misconceptions is besides the Bo Hancock feud on whether Luffy will get put with Bo Hancock uh, or Nami is the idea that Luffy can't love anybody. Like I said, like love people like the way, you know, attractively wise that he's on that he has been so somehow confirmed to be unattractive to anybody um and again there really is no consistent statements by this by the creators now this was something that was brought up to me actually at a convention when i went to a uh one piece panel uh and this was brought up that in a manga panel that they that this uh cosplayer had claimed that One Piece, uh, our creator said in an article or an interview, I guess, uh, in the manga, uh, that Luffy isn't attracted to anybody. Now, whether or not that's true or not, I haven't found the actual page. And anybody who's watching this video, if you can actually get me the scan from the manga where he says this, uh, let me see it because, um, I haven't found it. Um, point being is, um, until I see that I I need to really reassess on the whole situation on this, but 
at the same time, there's so much evidence by the creator of One Piece that Nami and Luffy are going to be a thing that I I just can't see how unless it's just inconsistent statements and, uh, you know, maybe an, a Kira Toriyama uh, thing where he just kind of gives inconsistent statements to kind of fool people or he just truly changes his mind and just kind of backtracks on different things. I mean, we have to also take in my, uh, take in account here that One Piece has been going on for years. I mean, I was introduced to the show in 2005 when uh, four kids were dubbing it, which is how I got into One Piece. Yes, I love the four kids dub because that's what got me into One Piece. So uh, I've been watching it since then. Um and um obviously i like the the one piece rap too but you know <laughs> uh anyways so i mean that's why i got into one piece now obviously one piece in japan has been going on much longer than that so obviously the show has been going on for a long time and i'm sure people have grown up on this show because i'm sure when this show started in japan there were kids that were watching it that are adults now or vice versa. Hell, when I started watching this in 2005, I was 12 years old. Um, so, I am now 31. Okay? So, the show's been going on for a long time. Okay? So, when the show ends, I don't know. But I'm going to show you my points on why I believe Luffy and Nami are a thing. Or can become a thing. Uh, and yes, while Luffy hasn't shown that much romantic attractions to Nami, there has been some tidbits throughout the years, throughout mangas, throughout hints, throughout panels, that kind of shows a possibility. Now, it's not like fictional characters haven't been oblivious to romantic feelings. Um, because again... This is fiction, and usually when it comes to anime, they try to focus more on the action than they try to focus on the ships. If they were always focusing on the ships and not the action, well, we wouldn't really have a good story now, would we? So the creator of One Piece kinds to try to keep it this way and doesn't try to show the occasional eye candy from time to time like you would see, like for example, in Fairy Tail or Naruto where they do show an occasional eye candy type stuff, but then kind of get more back to the plot. One Piece really doesn't do this this much. There are some subtle things there, here and there, but they never try to show any consistency with that. So because of this, it is hard to gauge, but at the same time, I do believe Nami and Luffy are a couple. And we're going to get to this right now, now, since we kind of spent a lot of time kind of going over the origins here. So, one of the biggest things about Nami and Luffy um, is obviously the whole Luffy saving, uh, you know, Nami's village when Ar Arlong was, uh, you know, still ruling over her village. And when she was crying about everything, what did Luffy do? Luffy gave uh, Nami her, her his straw hat. Um, this to me was always a symbolic thing um, that I just always thought was like, well, only Nami gets the straw hat, gets to wear the straw hat. You know, this was just something that was always symbolic. Um, so yeah, it was one of the biggest things and it's a very good scene. Some people have told me the Funimation dub did it better than what, uh, four kids did. I've never actually watched the, uh, version of the Funimation redub of the episodes that were done by four kids because I just never wanted to go back and rewatch everything again. <coughs> Even though 
obviously there were a lot of dub changes that four kids edited and all that bullshit that they used to do. Um, so any time when there was like a change that was done, I would, you know, a lot of the clips were posted online of what Funimation did for redubs. And so I was able to see the differences and, and whatnot. So I would kind of know the contents, especially once Brooke got introduced. Uh, so I kind of had backstories about the, you know, Laboom and all that too, since he was edited out for an iceberg. Um, but anyways, so we have Luffy giving the straw hat, but here's this thing, okay? And this is something that I had to bring up because um, this is something that really no one talks about. And I have a little contents from research that I've done on this. So, so for anybody who doesn't know, the creator of Naruto and the creator of One Piece have kind of like a rivalry thing going on uh, when it came to the mangas. So because they had a friendly rivalry going on, uh, they paid respect to each other for uh, in one of their chapters. And uh, one with, the, as you can see in Naruto, you got the little Luffy, uh, the, the One Piece straw hat symbol right there above the headband. headband. But then in One Piece, you got kind of an homage to Naruto in a, in a sense too here, right? But there's contents with this because look at this right here. You see Monkey D. Luffy. Obviously, you see uh, Chopper at the above here. But you see you see Luffy and you see Nami, right? Uh, Nami dressing up in the Leaf Village uh, st uh, Leaf Village dress, right? Okay. So, here's the contents of this. Okay. This is the contents right here. So, this is uh, Nami posing this way and Luffy sitting on the chair, right? This is based off of another manga t uh, article, which, by the way, in contents, these characters right here, that uh, the one that's sitting on the chair and the one that's posing, right? They actually get married. Okay, and I thought this was kind of symbolic because it's like out of all the things you could choose to do a, you know, for this whole homage to Naruto, right? He picked this cover to do of Luffy sitting on the chair and Nami being right there. And of course, these two eventually became a married couple uh, in the spinoff in this in this manga right here. Uh, which is what he inspired to do it as. So there was that. Okay. Obviously, there's also this uh, contents um, with uh, the, uh, again, with the, the hat, the straw hat, and some of the stuff that has been said over the years or some stuff that had been said. Um. With Nami, you know, he says, you know, don't touch my hat, Luffy. It's here, hey, hey, if you take any treasure. Like, there's just a lot of interesting thing. And then at the bottom here, when he's fighting uh, Buggy, uh, he says, I got this, I got this for Nami. Like, he's always seems to be caring about Nami more than anybody. Uh, in this, but but in a way, he cares more for Nami, it seems, than anybody else. Um, he doesn't go to the same lengths uh, with Nami as he does with the rest of the crew. Even Nico Robin, when they were rescuing uh, Nico Robin, you know, you know, he wanted to hear from Nico Robin you know, about her leaving the crew or whatever, you know, you know, when, uh, she was, uh, uh, captured by the world government. Um, but with Nami, you know, when she needed help from, you know, her village, uh, one, uh, Luffy was right there in action. So, I mean, there's that too. Um, 
Also, this thing right here I thought was really fascinating. So there was a like a one shot crossover, I guess, of Food Wars of an anime known as Food Wars for anybody who hasn't watched it. Um, and uh, they did this with Nami and Luffy in it, which I thought was kind of interesting because Sanji would be the one that makes the most sense since, you know, Sanji literally is the best chef in the One Piece universe, right? And yet you don't bring him into food worlds, worlds to go against, uh, you know, the God Tongue and whatnot um, and Soma. So uh, that was something I just thought was really interesting, uh, you know, specifically picking the non-chefs to be in it. Um, and here's an official statement, okay, about the, um, the, uh, the movie, um, Strong World, right, about Nami, about being a heroic save story, you know, uh, Nami basically saving Luffy, or, no, I'm sorry, Luffy saving Nami, right, um, and there was so much interaction between them. Oh, by the way, Strong World was a story specifically written by the creator, the manga creator. It was not a story that was uh, a Toei Animation written story. This was a story directly oversighted by him, overseen by him. And yet, this is the story that he went with. This was the story he went with. When it came to Nami and Luffy. Um, as you guys read this right here. He went with a heroic story. Between Luffy rescuing Nami. Which again I think is very interesting. For a, for a couple that's not supposed to be a couple. Um, you know and uh, you know the... Uh, creator doesn't want anybody on the crew to get with anybody because they're in the crew and they're supposed to be quote unquote seen as family um i don't look at it that way i look at them as crewmates and they stick together but that doesn't necessarily mean that they you know uh they can't get together uh i just don't agree with that notion um now, if it doesn't happen, first and foremost, I just want to say, if it doesn't happen, doesn't happen. That's not going to, you know, I'm not going to, you know, judge anyone who doesn't, you know, doesn't uh, make something not happen. It's whatever. It's just a, you know, a fan ship. But to say and discount Nami and Luffy as a possible ship, I think is a disservice. I think it is a better ship than Boa Hancock and Luffy. Um, I think that one is more hyped than anything else. Um, and is a truly one-sided one. Because Luffy, as we know, doesn't even realize um, Boa Hancock's interest in him that way. Um So in conclusion, I just want to say to me, Nami and Luffy is a legitimate ship that I think deserves a lot of serious consideration. There's really no official statements really about whether Luffy can quote unquote love somebody roman romantically or not. Um, and Furthermore, there's actually a lot of evidence from the creator of One Piece over the years, as well as subtle, small details, that leads me to believe more that Nami and Luffy are going to be more of a thing than a lot of people think. Um, and again, maybe this is a surprise that the creator wants. Maybe he just doesn't want people to know. You know, I mean, the show's been going on for 900-odd episodes now, at least for the English dub, uh, and it's been a 1,000 for the sub, over a 1,000 for the sub. 
I mean, so many things and so many opinions have changed over the years. There's no way. Uh, and also, storylines change, perspectives change. You can't really convince me that the creator of One Piece honestly knew 10 years ahead of time that Sanji was a part of the royal fam was part of a royal family. You can't convince me that this was something that he thought of when he first started the show. Okay? Like cuz we just found out about that like just a couple of months ago in the anime. Well, I mean if you've been following the sub, I guess a couple of years ago, but if you've been following the English dub like me just a couple of months ago, right? Just a couple of months ago, we seen uh, the well, actually, it wasn't a couple. It was technically a year ago. Now I'm kind of exaggerating on the months now, but a year ago, we just found out in the English dub that Sanji is somehow this prince that we didn't know about. Um, from this family that abandoned him because he didn't have like the special born powers or whatever. Um, so yeah. To say it's completely out of the question, I just think is such a disservice. And yes, I do would I, I do would like to see Nami and Luffy get together, and I think it makes the most realistic sen sense too. When Luffy becomes king of the pirates, he's going to basically be the king of all the treasure, essentially, right? Because I mean, if you're the king of the pirates, I mean that means you would have all the treasure, right? So, wouldn't that mean that Nami would want to be with the richest pirate in the world? With Monkey D. Luffy, since, you know, Nami loves money. Just saying, I think it makes more of a good discussion. And are we really going to say that, uh, that Luffy isn't going to get a kid? I mean, Gold Rogers got one. Yeah, I mean, they had to hide him, and then he died as an adult, but still, nonetheless, he still had a kid. So, are we just not going to, like, not have that for Luffy? We're just going to let his bloodline die like that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Gold Rogers' uh, kid died, but at least he lived as an adult, at least they tried. <laughs> you know, we're just not going to try with Luffy after he becomes King of the Pirates. I mean, come on now. Uh, anyways. So this is my video on this. I believe Nami and Luffy will become a... Uh, I do believe will become a canon ship at the end of the series. And if it doesn't, it's whatever. Um, you know, if they don't have because that's a lot of people think a lot of people think a lot of people think that they're just not going to have a ship period like it's going to end with no ships uh which i just think is kind of i just i think like the the fact that they want to like people think that like the crew is going to end with no ships i just think isn't fair either like like nobody on the crew can get with anybody you know i just think that's just a wrong approach because that's another thing I've heard I've heard it's not only just that Luffy is not going to get with someone but nobody on the crew is going to get is going to end up with someone I just think I can't see that happening at all I can't see that happening at all I you can't convince me that nobody on the crew is going to get with somebody like that's just not how things work that's just not how an anime works. That's not how any show really works. There's always someone who gets with somebody at the end of a series. So that's going to happen. Um, even if it's not Nami and Luffy, the, you know, uh, Sanji then would get with someone or someone would get with someone. Uh, I don't think Sanji should get with Nami or Nico Robin. Um, because again... They don't they, Nami Nami and Nico Robin don't like love Sanji that way. They they like him as a crewmate. 
and as a friend, but they do not, and an ally, but they do not, they do not love him the way Sanji kind of acts out on loving him. That's another reason why I would like Sanji to get with Pudding, because Pudding actually someone who genuinely loves him, and Sanji has now kind of fallen for her as well, even though she took his memory away from him. Um, that was someone truly that loved, they, they truly both loved each other. You know, um, so, uh, that's something I'd rather see for Sanji because I, I don't like Sanji. I, I don't like, cause Sanji doesn't really, to me, like love Nami and Nico Robin the way he is depicted that way because like to me it's a one-sided thing um that's why i really like the pudding ship um because to me that's both sides um but anyways um nami and luffy to me is a cannon ship or should be a cannon ship i should say for that matter and if it doesn't happen doesn't happen but uh i did give uh good evidence really i believe to kind of show the contrary here uh i also put out some source uh articles that do get into pretty good depth on things and those links will be in the description um please check them out um and let me know what you guys think and if there's any other information that i missed or if there's any new information that you want to send me let me know um as well as there's any other evidence that i may have missed let me know uh comment rate if you like this for my videos please subscribe hit that uh bell for all the latest contents thank you and uh that is about it guys i am the ss ultimate goku and i'm out of here peace also besides my youtube channel i also do have a twitch the ss ultimate goku Instagram, the S Ultimate Goku, as well as my Discord link. Uh, make sure you fo uh, you go there because uh, we do discuss a lot of things with anime, cartoons, live action movies, live action TV shows, uh, sports, wrestling, football, that NFL football, all that good stuff. So make sure to go there as well. And now I'm out. Peace.